Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. I'ma show you how to wear the jacket. I'ma show you what to look for as far as the fit of the jacket. Of course, I'ma show you how to put that mug on several ways. And yes, I said mug. are new here my name is Ashley before we even get started and going in on this video which I got a good one for y'all today I need you to do me a couple things okay number one I want you to go ahead and subscribe I promise I know everybody be like subscribe to my channel subscribe but I got something this is a little different baby you gonna want to you gonna want to come back here the second thing I need you to do I need you to go ahead and hit the notification button because just like I said all the time, or this the new saying, I don't really have a schedule, but we consistent over here. So I don't make a whole lot of promises, but what I can promise you is that I'ma come back to you. And it's gonna be sooner than later. I ain't gonna have you waiting for months. I'm gonna be consistent over here with you. So go ahead and turn on your notifications. And then three, if you're new here, if you're not here, Specifically, if you're new here, go ahead and like this video. That way I know who all, you know, how many new people is tuning in right now. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Long story short. Oh, I don't even got the piece. Hold on. Okay, we're back. So long story short, um, a couple of months ago, I went thrifting and I came across this bomber jacket. Now, of course, y'all are going to see what it looks like on. Um, but I think I got this for like $2 and some change. Um, the back is basically a cheerleader girl jacket. Um, so the goal today is we are going to, I'm going to show you guys how to style a satin jacket several ways um, versus just wearing the jacket. One thing I do want you to know, you're like, I can't get that jacket. You don't need this jacket, baby. All you need is the inspiration. So the point of me being here is to show you my personal style, my take on this piece, and then from there, you do whatever you want to do. Hopefully this video will inspire you to try a new piece. If you don't already have a satin bomber jacket, it'll inspire you to try some new pieces to add to your collection, to your wardrobe, to your sauce. Um, but this will also show you different ways to wear that piece. So let's just say you never even thought to get a satin bomber jacket. Here I am, I'm gonna show you how I will wear it from my perspective. And then from there you take it and you do it your way. Um, hence the inspiration. And this is also for the girl that already got the satin jacket. I want to give you some new ways because let's be clear. Sometimes we even, even us fashionistas, we need something to be like, hmm, oh, that was cute. Let me try that. That's what this is for. And we're going to get all into that. I'm going to show you how to wear the jacket. I'm going to show you what to look for as far as the fit of the jacket. When you are out in the world looking for your own we're gonna do all of that and of course I'm gonna show you how to put that mug on several ways and yes I said mug we gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to put that mug on <laughs> um, just to leave you with the um, inspiration that you deserve to be out here saucy in these streets y'all already know how I do we're gonna get into all that but before we do that let's talk about who I am and why you're even here in the first place so again my name is Ashley Pleased to meet you. I'm actually the owner and writer for a blog called EatinBougie.com. EatinBougie.com is an online platform that I developed for me to you to talk about what I like to call the bad babe lifestyle. So on this platform, you're going to not only get the fashion inspiration on steroids, um, you're actually going to get different food recommendations, cool things to do around the city that I live in, which is Jacksonville, Florida. So if you're the reading girly, you're definitely going to love it over there because it's articles. Literally, I write them myself with all my blood, sweat, tears, and um, I have that for you just to give you a different perspective. But of course, if you're not into that, I get it. I'm over here on YouTube, but in addition to the blog to YouTube, I'm actually on all the social media platforms, including Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Facebook. So if you can't get enough here, it's something for you for everywhere. I will just say I am way more active on my Instagram and TikTok. So if you're just looking for that daily fashion inspiration, I go live, I give motivation, just a whole different perspective um, if you are so either way, 
regardless of how you found me i'm so happy to have you hopefully you subscribe you stick around um because i have so much more in, you know in store for you so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get into it now just like my last fashion haul video of course if you have not watched that i need you to go ahead back up <laughs> finish this one because this one ain't gonna be as long as that one but i need you to slide over there and look at that video to talk about all the cute pieces that i picked up recently not only did i style them did i dress them up um i dropped y'all some promo codes so that you can save so literally don't say i don't be giving y'all nothing i'm giving you the drip and the save is what else you want from me so in addition to that i have made an effort to really be more personable um like i told you guys before this is my channel but this is really our channel my goal for eating bougie is to build a community of people who um are dedicated to the bad babe lifestyle and that can be whatever you declare it to be for me it's just the life of living um free doing whatever you want to do you don't give a damn what someone thinks about it all fashionably bougie as they call me and just whatever i don't even know how to describe it it's unique but that's what i'm about i hope that you could be about that that's why you're here so um I have been doing more posts on my Instagram. Again, I'm on all the platforms. I don't know how you're not following me on these platforms because yeah, it's pretty lit. But anyway, I did the poll and I asked you guys which one you would wanna see in regards to styling a satin bomber. The options were a get ready with me, um, a styling versus wearing or one piece many ways. So basically, um, we're kinda gonna do both. More so focus on the one piece many ways. So essentially, the goal today is to not only show you just how to wear a satin bomber jacket. I'm gonna show you how to style it too. Okay, so for look one, I kind of already had it on. I basically just have on some very casual um, trouser pants. I have on a striped shirt. This is a calm. Um, shirt, but of course you don't have to do this one. Any striped shirt would work. Um, long sleeve shirt, you take your pick. Where we did the styling at, um, in the original outfit, I just had on a pair of chucks and a jacket, just a simple bag. For this one, I took some oversized earrings that I grabbed off of Amazon. I mean, at this point, if you're a fashion girly or you're trying to be a fashion girly, I don't know why or how you don't have these earrings yet, but I'm gonna need you to go on my Amazon storefront. I don't even care how you get them. Just make sure you get these. Do them in silver and gold. Do yourself a service, okay? Okay. Um, and basically I did a nylon baseball cap and then I had an old nylon clutch top handle bag. And then I did these pointy toe booties. So essentially we took just the everyday styling outfit. We took the same jacket, threw it over the shoulders and it just gives it more of that street style vibe. Now, if you're not into street style, you probably want to go ahead and click off this video because it's about to get real wacky. So please pause it, take a picture, do whatever you want to do. I don't give a <laughs> light smoky. Um, but this is look one, styling a satin bomber jacket. Let's go to the next one. So next up, we took the same jacket. And I'm not going to keep saying that because obviously the point today is to style the bomber jacket. Again, this is another piece. In addition to those earrings, you guys should totally own an oversized white button-up shirt. This is like one of the most versatile pieces that you can have in your wardrobe because you can do things like today, which is put it with a pair of jeans. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. Um, I got this from Zara a while ago. So anyway, we literally took the same shirt. Um, this is just an old uh, bib choker necklace that I have it's very much a statement piece as you can see I just simply buttoned up the shirt all the way and did the the necklace with it we are going to keep the jacket draped for this again heavy on that street style apparel and then I have this metallic bag um, it's just a clutch something different than carrying a shoulder bag in my experience with draping a jacket it's almost like virtually impossible to it's just too much so i always recommend doing a clutch which brings us to um when it comes to picking out your bomber jacket you do want to get it a little bit larger you don't want it to be form fitting and tight because you want it to be big enough for you to do styles like this where it's draped over the shoulder um and it's baggy because all the illusion um you just want it to be more fitted because it's just way more functional 
because in addition, let's just say you don't want to wear it draped, you can literally just put it on um, and it fits very comfortable even over the larger clothes like so. So for the pants, um, again, the jacket is oversized, the shirt is oversized, we're going to stay oversized. I found these cargo pants at the Gap. Um, you can do these with any cargo pants, oversized, super wide leg. I went with the sneaker for this look, doing the Golden Goose sneakers. Um, I just love these because not only are these like that quiet luxury situation, they just already have like a dirty, worn look. Um, these come in so many different colors. And I love these in particular because they have the metallic, which I love to do this bag with it. In addition to the necklace, I just did some studs. Of course, you could turn it up and do some, but I... I'm kind of like the person, I'm not the one that's gonna do like the crazy statement piece and then do crazy statement uh, earrings because we're already doing a lot. It's really personal choice. Um, usually if I do a statement earring, I don't do a necklace. If I do a statement necklace, I keep it simple with the earrings. That's just a personal preference. You know, cause it can get gaudy. I mean, we already run around with some big ass jeans on, a satin jacket, like a metallic bag. What else you want, baby? You got to stop somewhere. But anyway, to finish this look off, I went with these super cute clear sunglasses. I found these on Shein. I talked about these in the last haul, but of course they're still available. I'm gonna tag, um, put these in the description for you as well. So yeah, just another way to test your fashion strength and try something different with the jackets. I ain't even no cheerleader. You see how that go? But it look good, don't it? Ain't it though? <laughs> Y'all already know I'm not gonna get key. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the, in the description. So don't be like, sis, where's that? It's gonna be there. If I can't get the exact piece, I'm gonna get you a similar piece. All right, y'all, so next up we have a very Kind of pushing the, the boundaries a little bit, but stick with me here. One thing I always say, I feel like me as like having these in my wardrobe, I don't give them enough credit, which is a pair of cowboy boots. Now these right here are actually from Zara like last season. You probably can't find these from Zara, but the idea is every street style girly, if you're into street style, you totally should have a pair of cowboy boots. It's just like the cross between having to wear a heel and it's a boot. Um, it can be dressed up or dressed down. So basically what we did, we took our handy dandy satin bomber jacket and I paired it with um, an oversized denim shirt dress situation. Can't lie, this has been in my closet for a long time. It's probably going to be there forever. Um, I personally love it. Sometimes I wear it as an overcoat. I wear it as a button up shirt, but in today's case, as you can see, it's totally long enough that it can be worn as a dress. So we just threw the jacket over it. And then I did this JW Pie crossbody. I love it because um, not only is it a super cute bag, it just kind of has that shiny texture to go with the boots that I'm wearing. And I think like five minutes ago, I told y'all about these earrings. Well, I mean, at this point, if you're a fashion girly or you're trying to be a fashion girly, I don't know why or how you don't have these earrings yet. These are like the new day age hoops. So if you're not a hoop girl, but you want to have a statement um, and you're kind of like me, you're not like the girl that does the big earrings all the time. I'm telling y'all, if you don't have these, what are we doing? So as you can see, we're doing them in gold just to bounce off the gold hardware on this bag. Um, and then I basically took the same hat from the first look, um, just a nylon baseball cap. So essentially you are getting just something different to wear with your jacket and you will definitely get noticed if you wear something like this. Moving right along. So this one is definitely one of my favorites solely because it transitions so well um, into any fashion type. So let me show you what we did here, girl. So I have this super cute sweater pleated skirt. I kind of pulled it up high waist just so it looks more mini. And then I did a mock neck top. And then we did our jacket. And then I did a contrasting bag solely because I truly, I just have like this thing with black, white, and red. I just think they really, they pair really well together. They, they look great together. 
I took it super easy on the accessories. All I did for this look was just a simple pair of studs. The reason why is because I wanted to do something for like my more quiet luxury, soft girlies. This is definitely more of the feminine look. Um, you could totally wear this on a date. You know, it's just like a fun way to pair your jacket. Um, I went with the Zara boots. I actually did a video on these and these not, are not only comfortable, they're so sexy and unique. They're basically just some fold over boots. So giving you um, a very chic, like all black outfit, but it has a pop of color with the jacket and then the contrasting bag. person probably would have saw this at the thrift store and kept it moving but when I saw it I had a vision I was like we could do something with that and in turn it gave me inspiration to even do this video to share it with you and although you can't get this one per se you could totally find one out there that is comparable and you too can recreate these same looks so hopefully today's video gave you a little bit of fire to style a jacket to get this jacket if you already have it hopefully it gave you some ideas if you've never thought about it hello i'm so happy to have helped and more so um just another outlet for me to express to you my personal style again in hopes that you develop your own personal style um, of course, if you love today's content, go ahead and like the video, but you should have already liked it, especially if you knew because I asked you to do that earlier, but if you didn't, it's okay because I know I just did something to you. If you made it this far, I did something to you. Like, let your girl know something. Let me know why I ain't out here just making these videos and bang. Is, are we hot? Are we cold? We fire? Where we at? More so, I'm going to be doing more polls on Instagram, um, asking you guys' opinion of what you want to see. Of course, if there is a specific topic that you want me to go over, just drop me a comment. That way, everybody can see it. Um, or you can always DM me on any of my social media. I respond to everybody. I ain't funny acting. I ain't no gatekeeper, none of that. I keep telling y'all that. And um, more so, save this for future fashion inspiration for yourself. If you know someone who can totally relate to my personal style, who would receive this well, share it with them. Other than that, drop me some comments. Let me know which outfit is your fave, why, you know, which one can you see yourself doing, which one you plan on getting yesterday. Um, and other than that, I want to thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the positive words. Thank you for the comments, the shares, the likes, the follows. Um, it definitely does not go unnoticed. I just hope that we can continue to grow as a community, get into it with this fashion, okay? Other than that, babe, I'm gonna go ahead and let you get out of here. I love you guys the most. I will see you next video.